Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The Chinese market remains open, and many foreign giants can obtain good market share returns in the Chinese market, even reaching monopoly levels. There are very few domestic companies that can compete with them. For example, Oracle, the early Oracle was in full swing in the Chinese market, providing database services for Chinese customers. But Oracle's final outcome in the domestic market was very tragic. It was kicked out of China because of its arrogance and threatened never to train Chinese employees. What has Oracle experienced? Without Oracle's database, what is the alternative strength of China's database? How strong is Oracle? Oracle is a world-leading information technology company founded in 1977 and headquartered in Redwood City, California, USA. Oracle is one of the world's largest enterprise software companies, and its products and services involve databases, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, blockchain, and other fields. In the 1980s, China's computer market was just getting started, and various foreign companies poured into China, including Oracle. At that time, Oracle relied on its advanced technology and products to quickly establish a dominant position in the Chinese market and became one of the major suppliers of Chinese enterprise information construction at that time. How strong is Oracle's strength? It can be said that at that time, no Chinese database manufacturer was Oracle's opponent, and even domestic companies making database products were very rare. In such a market environment, Oracle has risen rapidly and grown wildly, just like acquiring a piece of fertile land. By sowing seeds, you can reap a large number of fruits of labor. It is undeniable that Oracle's database technology was considered the most advanced in the world at that time, and its products had excellent performance in terms of performance, stability, and security. In China, Oracle's products are widely used in banking, telecommunications, government, and other fields. Oracle also established multiple R&D centers in China and recruited a group of top domestic technical talents, laying a solid foundation for its success in the Chinese market. However, all of this disappeared because of Oracle's arrogance. Domestic enterprise users should all know that the first choice for databases is not Oracle's products. It is either the database technology of domestic manufacturers or the products of other foreign manufacturers. Oracle has disappeared in China, except for its use in a small number of ERP enterprise management systems. Apart from competitive advantages, it no longer has much influence. What has Oracle experienced? This has to mention the attitude of Oracle founder Larry Ellison. He said that China, the United States, is a major competitor, so he will never train Chinese employees. This disrespect for Chinese culture and Chinese employees has caused Oracle's market position in China to begin to decline. No matter how strong Oracle's position is, once it touches the core interests of the market, it will not be tolerated by the majority of users. The arrogant Oracle will eventually pay the price for what he did. He missed opportunities in the Chinese market and talent. China is one of the largest markets in the world with huge development potential. If Oracle can cooperate with Chinese employees, it can better understand and develop the Chinese market and improve the company's competitiveness 
and market share. It's just that Oracle's vision is too short-sighted, failing to see the capabilities of Chinese talents and only caring about protecting its own interests. If Oracle had insisted on entering the Chinese market with an open and cooperative attitude, treated Chinese employees equally, and did not impose discriminatory rules, Oracle would not be in this situation. The American database giant that has monopolized the Chinese market for 30 years has finally been kicked out of the Chinese market. Against the background of the rapid rise of Chinese databases, Oracle has lost its core competitiveness. What is the alternative strength of Chinese databases? Some people may be worried that Oracle is so powerful, what will happen if it cannot be used? In fact, domestic manufacturers have already solved this problem. Huawei, Alibaba, Tencent and other domestic technology companies and internet companies have developed their own database layouts, not only for their own use, but also for external use. For example, Huawei's self-developed Gauss DB database is based on the open-source database PostgreSQL and Huawei's self-developed distributed technology. It has the characteristics of high performance, high reliability, high scalability, and global support. Gauss DB supports a variety of data access methods and data storage methods, including relational, non-relational, and hybrid data storage. It supports multiple data access methods, such as SQL, NoSQL, and NewSQL, and is suitable for various enterprise-level application scenarios. Let's look at Alibaba's self-developed ocean base. This database is designed based on a distributed architecture and supports massive data storage and high concurrency queries. OceanBase ensures the consistency and reliability of data through its independently developed distributed consensus algorithm. OceanBase has been widely used and verified in many business scenarios such as Alibaba, Tmor, Daobao, Alipay, etc., and is a very competitive distributed database system. The strength of Tencent database cannot be underestimated. Its databases mainly include Tencent Cloud Database Tencent DB and Tencent Distributed Database TDSQL. These databases have excellent performance in terms of performance, availability, security, and functionality. These are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Chinese databases, an alternative strength has completely moved away from reliance on Oracle. As China's economy continues to develop and digital transformation continues to advance, the demand in the database market is also growing. Oracle missed the Chinese market, and it is impossible to make a comeback. With the example of Oracle, other American companies must know how to abide by the rules when operating in the Chinese market. If you agree, please like it, and welcome to repost, leave a message and share it.